We just conducted a live fire attack against a company fortified position. Uh, we call it Range 400. So ideally what happens on Machine Gun Hill is they have some sort of indirect fires covering the objective and then they tie their direct fires into that. Once machine guns occupy, they tie direct fires to their indirect fires and then they were able to move Marines down into the open ground and into the main wash. Basically close with the enemy over a critical exposure point, making a good assessment prior to making that leap into enemy gunfire. For our platoon in the deep wash, we committed a squad once we had an increase in rate for guns in IDF, supporting them in adjacent platoon suppressing, right? So they're creating essentially like a tunnel for a maneuver corridor. How that works is a squad, which is normally 13 people, they'll get online, they'll start buddy rushing, they start to move forward, they get down, and then the next two continue to move. And they continue that until basically the unit leader in that case, we would tell them to stop. So friction's real and it affects everybody differently. People are like oranges, right? So when you squeeze an orange, you get orange juice. When you put pressure and friction and adversity on a person, much like squeezing an orange, you get what's on the inside. But recognizing those points of friction and adversity and overcoming them is what they did well today.